our economy is weathering the GFC. But Australian workers are feeling the pain, working harder and longer. It's easy to point the finger at wealthy CEOs and ask, what about me? But some CEOs are prepared to take extreme action to find out what's going on in their own companies. Each week, we follow the boss of a major corporation as they go undercover in their own company. I can't see. <laughs> this week, one of Australia's most dynamic CEOs poses as a new recruit in his own pizza chain. This one doesn't look like it's going to fit in the box. And works on the front line. Yeah, that's it. He'll swap his Lamborghini for a delivery car. We've got no air conditioning. Why down your window? We're going to kill ourselves in this car. And he'll discover the unsung heroes that make his company tick. Hey, how are you? How will his co-workers react when they find out he is really the boss? Wow. <laughs> so kidding. And how will it change their lives? Do not expect too much. <laughs> find out now in Undercover Boss Australia. Domino's Pizza serves nearly a million pizzas a week around Australia. It delivers a turnover of $670 million a year. And this bloke is the big cheese. So my name is Don May and I'm the CEO and Managing Director of Domino's Pizza Enterprises and we operate the Domino's stores in Australia, New Zealand, France, the Netherlands and Belgium. That we feed over 50 million pizzas a year in Australia alone. So it's an exciting business because we're very driven, we're very entrepreneurial, we're very innovative. My job is to make sure that, that this business has a life, that it's growing, that it's going to be here for a long term, and that ultimately everybody gets their fair share of that stake. I think I have always been ambitious. As a young kid, we didn't grow up in a, in a wealthy home, so I was very driven to have things that we couldn't afford. I think that came from my father particularly. I think I had a really supportive mother, but quite a driven father. He was definitely an entrepreneur and very involved in business, so yeah, it was a good grounding. While I was studying at university, I had one job on the weekend working in a supermarket and then I needed some extra money for uni. So I was delivering pizzas. I literally thought at that time it was a part-time job and I was going to you know, go on and do a degree and do something else. I didn't think that when I was a pizza delivery boy that I would grow on to be the, uh, the CEO or that I'd still even be sitting here 23 years later. My family drives me, my wife Esme, in 1990. I think we've been a fantastic partnership. I'm a really proud dad. <laughs> I've done everything possible to help my kids be uh, set up for their lives, whatever they'll end up being. <laughs> that wasn't very clever. And I get a lot of thrills out of it because now, today, I'm getting to live through what my kids are doing as well. So that's a lot of fun. <laughs> Domino's has been a great success. You know, we're the market leader by quite a significant market share here in Australia, and we don't take that for granted. We're making a lot of changes in the business and I'm not sure they always transfer and I'm not even sure if um, they're necessarily even the right thing to do sometimes. So to be able to go undercover, I'm looking to find what we could do better. Don will now reveal his plan to go undercover to the senior management team. Hi everyone. I've called you all here today because I'm going to be stepping down as the CEO of Domino's Pizza Enterprises. I'm going to be going undercover to work in the front line of our business. I'm really keen to find out what it's like to be a team member in Domino's Pizza today. What could we be doing better? Um, what's holding us back? What's actually happening in our stores? You know, I want to see how it really is. I just actually know we're going to be a better business from an experience like this. I am a little bit nervous, that I have to be honest. I hope I don't get fired. <laughs> That'll be a little bit embarrassing. Are you going to take your Lamborghini for the to deliver pizza? No. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be tough for him. It's a, it's a physical environment. He's been a, a desk flyer for uh, many a year now, but he'll be very passionate when he gets in there. It'll be great for him to, to get back into the stores and into the business and to see what happens on a day-to-day -day basis because he hasn't done that for many, many years, so it could be a challenge for him. Hi, sweetie. Uh, have a good week. Have fun. 
I know there's great people in our business. I'm not looking to catch them out. I'm really looking to find the opportunity to learn. I'm really looking forward to uh, trying to find what's actually happening. What do our team members feel about a lot of the things that we're doing in stores? And ultimately, so that we can be a better company. So while I'm out in stores, I'm going to be telling people that I'm Peter James and that we're filming a documentary about people changing their fields of work. I'll be travelling from location to location and while I'm doing that, I'll be staying in some budget accommodation, um, just like most entry-level people would in our business. So today we've arrived in uh, the Australian Capital Territory into Canberra and we're going to visit the busiest Domino's store on the planet. Chicken bacon supreme. Over 9,000 stores worldwide. This store's been the busiest now for nearly a decade. So I'm really keen to see how Belconnen delivers. I'm also really keen to understand how they manage this team. I mean, this is a store that has 60 to 70 staff members in it on, a, on any given night. Meatball. I'm here. I'm Peter. I'm here to see Al, the manager. G'day, mate. Hi, Hi Al. Peter James. How are you? Good, thanks. Just come through. Just into the stock room here. This one's your uniform. Not Bathroom much. is through here. Well, the first thing I'll do is I walk you through the flow of an order. Yep. Orders come through, say over the phones and over the internet, and we want to have it in customers' hands within 12 minutes or out the door. Two make lines on the busier nights, uh, we use odds and evens, so odd orders go to one and the even orders go to the other. Cold storage is in there, wash up area and dough cool room. That's it. Should have tags on them. Right. Like uh, the ovens. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I worked in a pizza shop once over two years ago, but it didn't look like this. <laughs> Fair enough. Obviously got our front customer here, you, lots of customers. Has in time for the next order, please. How confident do you feel about taking a real order? I'll give it a go, if you're standing by or somebody's standing by. Alrighty. Thank you for choosing Domino's Pizza Belconnen. My, my name is uh, Peter and I'm a trainer this evening. Uh, can I take your order, please? Oh, sorry, can I just apologise? Can, can I ask, is that a pickup or a delivery tonight? It's doing pretty well, it's picking up really quickly. An Italian sausage on thin. We don't serve that pizza. Uh, we don't actually serve that pizza anymore. Uh, meat lovers? Okay, um, thank you very much for helping me there and bearing with me. My first night. Bye bye. Not bad. That was the best service she's ever had. <laughs> I'll take you around to the cup bench. Okay. Once I say pizzas come out of the oven, um, the oven tender or, or say or the cutter cuts the pizzas mm -hmm. uh, and prepares the orders uh, mm -hmm. to go out. Mm -hmm. um, the cutter has say has the most important job in the store. My God, he's fast. I've seen him cut. Sorry, I've seen him cut faster. Uh, all right, Alrighty, I'll let you have a go at this one. Okay. It's pretty, yep, that looks like it. All right, so we'll give the cut. Go to line those tabs up. Two deliveries up, guys. Who's going to build Connor? Needs to go a little bit faster, but it's expected the first time cutters. All right, so that one goes up there, and remember it goes on a different angle. Oh, sorry, yep. Okay guys, get the pizza in the oven, hustle, hustle, let's go! This one doesn't look like it's going to fit in the box. The oven is backing up a bit. Don has been working undercover in the store for just two hours, but he is already struggling to keep up with the pace. I actually think I might have actually compromised the store. I think they lost the oven there for a little while. Just go reprint. Don't make any more pizza on this oven. Go reprint all them dockets first. Just cut them. <laughs> Come on, boys. Come on, guys. Get the pizza oh, in the sorry. oven. Hustle, hustle. Let's go. Next, Al reveals a family tragedy. Like, it's hard and it's rough, but um, you move on. So, um... Sorry to hear that. And Don meets a delivery driver with a difference. Mm. And driven manual before? I'm not driven this car. Mm -hmm. no. Don May, the CEO of Domino's Pizza, is working undercover in his own company. He 
He's now six hours into his first shift and feeling the heat. But he's also getting to know his co-workers a little better. I started as a, like a teenager, I was 15, and then... When you were in high school? Yeah, <laughs> about 14, 15, um, I just kind of lost it at school. And this place kind of, in a lot of ways, it, it helped me. Um, so I feel a little bit obligated to be here. Al, who's been training to me tonight, he's a, a really lovely person, a gentle person. He's a, a very good young manager with the right temperament and personality. I'd love to see a guy like Al go a long way in our business. The plan, what's your long-term plan? Um, I'll probably eventually leave here and right. um, go to uni in Melbourne. Okay. I'd like to get a bachelor in aviation. So how long before you'll, do you reckon you'll move on to do your airline, your... Uh... Um... Is it pilot? You want to be a pilot? Yeah. Yeah, how long before? Um, I don't know. I'd very much go with the flow. See, how, say, see where this job takes me, if any, say if anywhere. Alrighty, that one's yours. Okay. Don't get that, guys. He's a young man who hasn't told me why yet, but you know, something happened in his life when he was about 15 and he was doing really, really well at school and then something spun that out where you know, Domino's became another home for him at 15 years of age. So, um, when we were talking earlier, you were talking about when you were, you were 15 and you were saying that... Um, oh, um, yeah, a relative passed away. Um, in my family. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, yeah. They uh, took their own life and um, it, I went to school with a lot of my relatives, so it kind of hit hard yeah. at home um, with my family, so so I kind of lost track of school because my entire family is kind of grieving. Um, he was only 17, took his own life, yeah. So, um, sorry to hear that. Yeah, it, it's... Uh, Almost a badge to wear, you, like it's hard and it's rough, but uh, you move on. Yeah. And what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're certainly a strong person. Uh, yeah. Will you I'd come like across to say, as I'd, a... like to, I'd like to think so. It was a real pleasure to meet Al tonight. He had a difficult entry into Domino's for personal reasons. Domino's maybe became his escape from what I can make out and therefore he talks about feeling some obligation to the business and I'm not sure why he feels obligated. I mean, we should feel obligated to him considering the outstanding young gentleman that he is. This is the history of our business. This is the kind of people that enter our business. Sometimes maybe as a last resort but then realise, wow, I'm learning stuff here, I'm having fun, I'm being treated with respect. Yeah, there's obviously a sense of pride that that's a place that Domino's fulfills, you know, and that, um, and that we uncover these people. After a late night finish in the kitchen, Don returns undercover the next morning. He'll try out as a delivery driver, the very job that started him on his stellar pizza career. This is the hot brownie. Blue in. Yeah. Have you shown me this? Hi. Hello, sir. How are you, sir? Peter. Myself, Ras, sir. Nice to, to meet you. you. Nice to meet you, sir. Please, thank you. So, how long have you worked here? I'm working from the last year, sir. The last year? Yeah. From wow. India. Yeah. From Punjab. From India? My background is mechanical engineer and uh, I'm working here as a uh, delivery expert from the last year. And do you have a family? Yes, I'm, my family is here. Yeah? You bring yeah. your whole family? Yes, yes. I have two kids. Oh, and, I too. Yeah, two kids. They are, one is of 21 years and nearly, or and another one is 16 years. Raj is a, a quite an interesting man. Um, he's a gentleman who migrated here about a year ago and um, he uh, he's come from a completely different background where he was a manager, quite a senior gentleman, as a mechanical engineer, but he wasn't able to necessarily find a job and he's now a pizza delivery driver, pizza, as he calls it, a delivery expert and he's learning all the different roles in the store. Slowly, slowly. I was not driven this car. Driven manual yeah, before? I not driven this car. No. And so, how many hours a week would you do at Domino's? Yeah, nearly 60 hours. 60 hours? <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Should be here, number four, this Number one. four. Uh, this is number four, yep, yeah, upstairs. Just look around? Yeah. No, this is, yeah, this one is there. Hi, Andrew, how are you? Hi, how are you, sir? I'm, I'm Raj from Domino's. Hi, I'm Peter, I'm a trainee. Hi, <laughs> Peter. 
And what's your long-term plan? What would you like to do? Uh, just my planning is that uh, I have to. I came here for only for my children. So they like to come in Australia for for the studies. I think it is a really big sacrifice for somebody to give up their uh, life and career and friends and family to move to another country for a future for their children. See a change in your children? Yeah, the younger one is purely Aussie. He's he's a real Aussie? Aussie. Yeah, really Aussie. But the pure test is which yeah. cricket team does he go for? Yeah, yeah. Is he, is he supporting Australia or India? No, no, nowadays he is supporting in Australia. Oh, wow, he is definitely an Australian. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's really proud that his youngest son, after one year, supports the Australian cricket team, speaks like an Australian, and he sees that as a, as a really big positive. Hi. 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 This is Raj from Domino's. This is your delivery, please. Yeah, of course, twenty-seven ninety-five. Thank you. Handbrake. Yeah. <laughs> Having spent all day on the road showing Don his delivery expertise, Raj is keen to cater their meal break. Do you like to eat pizza, sir? I love pizza. Yeah, this is my pure vegetarian pizza which I used to make for me myself only. <laughs> if you want to have, I can make for you also. Yeah, I'd love to try it. <laughs> yeah, that's good, sir. What have you got on it so far? Capsicum, onions. Yeah. This is sun-dried tomatoes. Sun-dried tomato? Yeah. Okay. And this is feta. This one is garlic oil. Okay. And what are you putting on there? This is pesto. Pesto sauce. And then? This is sweet chili sauce. That's it. Interesting. Alright. Does yes. it, this pizza have a name? Yeah, I don't know. No? <laughs> I have never put the name. It's going to burn my mouth, but I'm going to give it a go. Alright. Slowly. Mmm. <laughs> mm. How's the test? How's the test? Really good. Good? Yeah. Man, I, I eat a lot of pizza and I can tell you that's a very nice pizza. If uh, this item goes to the head office departments, mm -hmm. if they taste it, definitely they can uh, produce a special variety of this pizza with the other name, special name. So why don't you do it? Yeah, it should be done. Mm. It should be done. Well, because this is not uh, for me that I can do this. Why not? Although only the owners and the Domino's managers can do that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. It was a little disappointing he didn't realise that he could take it forward, you know, that we haven't communicated that down the line, that it really needs his franchisee to take it forward to the company. And that's something that he just volunteered that, you know, maybe this is something the company would want to have. And absolutely. Clever name, Rajatarian. <laughs> Rajatarian. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? It's pretty cool. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing this with me. Thank you. I feel Welcome sort of personally privileged to get to meet you and know you, and then you're, uh, you're sharing oh. me your personal pizza. It's sort Thanks. of uh, very Thanks. intimate. Coming up, a messy pizza make line has Don struggling to stay undercover. Just Don't have a problem be... wasting all our food? Don May, CEO of the multi-million dollar Domino's, is back home in Brisbane to go undercover in a store close to Domino's HQ and close to his heart. We're in Spring Hill, we've, we've just upgraded it, and this is also one of the first stores to get our pizza make line where we make our pizzas up to the front of the store. So we're now going to learn how to make pizza. Perfect. So first we have to sauce. Okay. Let's put a sauce on the base. And it um, has to be 100, between 190 grams of cheese. Let's go put in some salami. We need some salami there. Okay. Just put in about eight slices. It's your first day. It looks like you've been working for ages. Nah. <laughs> how much? That's it. Yeah, nice pizza. You happy with that? Yeah. It's pretty good. 
Yeah, what, what do you like about Domino's? That's what I'm sort of looking at. What I like at Domino's, mm. I like because it's fun. Mm -hmm. When you come to here, there's always friends around. You can be a um, store manager, and I don't know, I can buy a store. Okay, buy a store? Yeah, I'll be a regional manager. So how long are you going to stay here then? What do you, what would you recommend? Forever? Yeah, it's just been fun. Yeah? And yeah. Arthur, he's a, a fantastic young man. <laughs> And you can see that he's a, my limited exposure to him, he's a really nice person. When you said Domino's fun, what makes it fun? Oh, the make line. You like it here? <laughs> this is your best, your favourite bit? Yeah, it is. Yeah. What's next? Okay, right. we can make it the puff base with that tomato as well. Okay, so... You, that you, one. You're feeling a little bit frustrated because um, we've just launched a new product called Square Puff and they're teaching me how to make it incorrectly and it's really badly incorrectly, so the end product's not going to be right. So which one am I making up there? So you have to make the seven slow pizza. Like that? Yeah, good, yeah, that's good. It's not even close to how it's supposed to be made. Bacon. Which bacon? You can use this one. Gosh, a lot of bacon. So it's frustrating to be making a product, you know, that's going to not work out the way it's supposed to work out. But I'm trying to grin and bear it because I know I don't want to blow my cover because what else am I going to see here and learn? What do you think of this one at the front? I've never seen a, a pizza store with a make line at the front. Yeah, it's all right. It's I, I don't know. For me, it looks a bit messy. Do you reckon? I don't know. That's what I'm... It's, I'm just it's, a customer. I'm looking at it going... Yeah. Just don't have, have a problem be... wasting all the food? Well, just because you're new, so you're probably... Okay, so I made all the yeah. mess? No, not you. <laughs> One of the, the things about having the make line on show, it just really shows weaknesses if we're not cleaning that make area. And um, I felt pretty bad about the amount of waste that we were doing as well tonight. Uh, more, more because it is waste. I mean, that should be product we're giving to the customer. Um, you know, really nothing should really be going into the bins because nobody's getting anything out of that. There's one thing I didn't expect to learn, but maybe I should have, is that clearly this store needs more training. I look up to this, Peter. Okay. Fantastic people here. Thank you very Appreciate much. your help. Okay. But we need to work on more training. That's really our responsibility. That's you know my responsibility in the day, make sure the training's following all the way through. That's a big take home for me to make sure we get that fixed. After a difficult shift in the Spring Hill store, Don decides to visit a more traditional one where he's heard about two young store managers hoping to buy their own franchise. I'm here in Gongalan today. This is a really successful store for us. It continues to grow despite new competitors opening up in the area and so on. So I'm really interested in meeting the people in the store. Hello, I'm here to see Tegan. Oh, hi, how are you? Peter James, pleased to meet you. Thank you. Oh, just come through. Let's okay. get started on some dough. Yep, so go to the top and then it comes out here. And all you do is you just turn it around, push it down, Annoying. All right. Okay. All right, try it again. Didn't even go through. But it'll eat them sometimes. So they'll just disappear. Just flip it over. I'll flip it over. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. it takes a little while to get it. It is, it is complicated. <laughs> I imagine you've done a few million of them. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so how did you get to be what you're doing as the manager? Well, I started as a driver in Shepparton in Victoria. All oh, right. And yep. um, I started thinking that I'd only been Domino's till I could find another job, a yep. real job. And um, six years later, I'm you're still, still here. Uh, yep. And I had a boyfriend down there who has moved to me with Canberra, and, and he's the um, assistant manager, Charlie. Oh, OK. So we both work in Domino's now. That's convenient. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want to do with it, or where do you go from here? Well. My aim is, in the next five years, to buy into a store, if not a couple of stores. Wow. So, oh, congratulations. That yeah. all comes off. So, Everything. Yeah. How's the training going? It's really I'm good. Charlie. Oh, hi, Charlie. Is that all right if I shake Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So you're really Tegan's partner then? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm also assistant manager here. Mm -hmm. um, originally, I started as a delivery driver. The CEO of Domino's started as a delivery driver. Really? We always say that. 
it gives the staff that idea maybe I could push myself a bit further and oh, yeah. have something other than just driving. I didn't know. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? When you it think is. of all those different roles. It is, and CEO, it gives people who Z. wouldn't have had the you know, opportunity mm. a chance. They are just really um, an incredible couple, especially Tegan. Very focused, very goal driven, knows exactly what she wants and Domino's is her vehicle to achieve that. I want to get the foot traffic and handout flyers. This is definitely character building stuff. Oh yeah. Lucky I'm not from Canberra. <laughs> oh, maybe if we come back here a bit we can get people going. Okay, in. so what do I do, just hand these out? Yep. So can I give you one of these menus at all? No, you're fine. <laughs> it's nice to be outside the store. Yeah, <laughs> out in the sun. He knows what Domino's is, don't you, mate? I don't know who came up with it, but there are Dominoids who are like that's what they're called. They're obsessed with Domino's. Yeah. But it is. It's well, you're probably it is. one of those. <laughs> yeah. I know. I guess on the front, everyone will tell you, you know, they they love it and it's good and that. But of course, you know, every job's got its down points and that. And um, I know, yeah, personally myself, like I've really struggled with the customer side of things and the constant responsibility. Yeah. And um. I've only just recently been, six months ago, been diagnosed with depression, so, um, and that's been really hard to juggle. I'm the last point of call, you know, I'm the one that's got to be there when everything else falls apart, so you don't necessarily have time to fall apart for yourself and have those downtime, down moments, so that makes it hard, but, um, we have Charlie. That's right. That's, I'm very grateful that I have him, so, mm. yeah. I'm, I'm very tough on myself. I, um, I ask a lot of myself and because I, I don't want to disappoint. But you know, one of the things I did learn is that um, it's okay that if you're not perfect at everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it is okay. So Tegan's a perfectionist, a very focused person. And she's just a really, really amazing person. So we're very lucky to have people like Tegan and Charlie in our business. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, how are you? Next, Northern Exposure. Don feels the heat in Innisfail. It's hot in this store. It is very hot. Do you hot. have air conditioning? We do normally. Undercover CEO Don May is heading to one of Domino's most northerly stores in steamy Innisfail, the town devastated by Cyclone Larry in 2006. Don wants to see how a small town store survives. <laughs> Hi, Peter James. How are you? And I'm here to apply for a job yep. and... No worries, you're my new in-store. Wonderful, come on through. Thank you. Place That's work. wonderful placement. Okay, you look great. You look ready for work. Thank you. Okay. It's hot in this store. It is very hot. Do you hot. have air conditioning? We do normally. Um, the problem is at the moment our air conditioner busted down because as you would understand up here things work over time. <laughs> so, so we'll pick it up. Remember it's very hot. Yep. Okay, put it to a certain start. Put it over. Set. Have you ordered? Yeah. What name? Um, Mark is just over there, please. Yep, across in the middle. Yeah, right. you, you're doing you're brilliantly. No, you're doing you brilliant. Shaking the pizza? Yeah, shuffle the pizza. You're really going to enjoy this job. Now for task, I really need to get these vouchers out to the customers. Okay. Okay, we had a few late deliveries last night, so would you like to come for a drive? Love to. Okay, let's go. All right. And we've got no air conditioning, wind down your window. We're going to kill ourselves in this car. We've parked our oldest car, one that should have actually been retired. It doesn't have air conditioning again. I mean, it's one of the things, you know, this is North Queensland, so not acceptable for our team members to be that way. So I want to make sure we're correcting that. Difference between a franchise and a corporate store, we're still owned by the company. The company being? The company being an American done. company or an Australian company? Australian and New Zealand company, right. which is um, Don Mayer being the CEO of Australia and New Zealand. Right. But so this guy you talk about, is he the owner of it or something? Or he's the CEO. He's, right. um, right. you know, chief executive officer. Okay. But he started out the same as everybody else. Down at Leanne's now, which is number seven. Gosh, you know every house in this area. Almost. I used to live out here too. Right. So, okay. So we'll just pop in and see Leanne and... 
give her vouchers to her. Hi, Leanne, are you home? Yeah. Hi. How are you today? Good, I'm Louise from Domino's in as well, and I apologise for last night's delay on your pizza delivery. We have two wonderful vouchers, and they're redeemable by that date. Okay, so whenever you see... Louise, she didn't feel great about having to give free pizzas because she didn't want to get it wrong in the first place. And here she was personally delivering a free pizza voucher to a couple of these customers. Okay, I'm terribly sorry about that. We have a free voucher for you. Okay, so anytime you're willing to come to Don again and we'll help you out and make sure that's not late. Okay, okay, thank you very much. No worries, have Thanks. a good night. Thank, thank you. you. See you later. Bye -bye. She's amazing. She literally is just so passionate about our business. Oh this is where we used to live when the cyclone was here. Oh, when yeah. I think every time the cyclone comes through, yeah, we cringe, duck and weave, but mm. emotionally it kills us. Really? You know when we were driving past, you said that was my house? Yeah. And it was vacant? Yeah, the vacant block. What happened to your house? The house just, when the cyclone came, the house just literally just Nobody went down. It. No, it was no we uh, evacuated. We went out to my parents where they were, yeah. at, the, they were at the Catholic church at that time. At yeah. the, and we stayed there. And yeah, we, it, um, yeah, it was pretty harsh. I bet it was. We moved in with my mum and dad and my mum and dad decided that they were going to go down to Sydney and um, they said you need somewhere to live so they gave us their caravan and so we moved into the caravan and lived there for two years because there was no housing, there was no nothing so we just coped that way and came to work and did the normal thing and went home to the caravan and lived like that until there was enough housing. Here she's lost her home in the cyclone, had to live in a caravan for two years and yet, you know, so robust about it and, and still living here in Innisfail despite those, uh, those challenges. That's just incredible. Justin, you ready to go home, darling? She loves her staff. I mean, she cares enough to take one of the young boys home because um, she's worried about him. It's cutting into me, but I'll be all right. <laughs> I mean, who does that in today's age? And who cares this much about people? Um, I mean, it's, I mean, could you ask for somebody more perfect? And, in, and especially in a small town like Innisfail. Look at the man. I love this town. <laughs> Look at that. I can see why. Yeah, this week uh, I've met a lot of really uh, interesting people and got a lot to think about now about how I can translate this into all the learning to make a difference in our business because that was the purpose of doing this. Next, Don reveals his true identity. I'm Don May. Really? And I'm the CEO of Domino's Pizza Enterprises. Wait. For the last seven days, Don May, the CEO of Domino's Pizza, has been working undercover in his own company. Now, Don will tell his senior management team exactly what he has discovered over the past week. Uh, hi everyone. Morning, morning. I wanted to share with you, first of all, my experience. For me, it was a quite an emotional week. I've met some really special people. I saw that they were really genuinely proud about what they do. In many cases, I got a chill down my spine as I was talking to them. It doesn't kill you, it only makes you stronger, so. It's very obvious to me that even though we've got great people there, I mean, these are really, really good people. We, we've got to do a better job of training their team members, and can we? That's a big question. One of the things that I learned by being undercover is that by doing an individual task over and over for long enough periods of time, you actually see it in a different light. And so I'm going to lead by example, where I'm going to commit to the business that I'm going to work once a month in the store, not to be the manager, but to actually be a team member. And I want to challenge all of our operations team to do that. Alrighty, well, thank you very much, everybody. And we'll talk soon. Thank you. Thank you. The time has come for his unsuspecting co-workers to discover Don's true identity. Don't really know what's going on, where we're going, what we're doing.
Ian, hi Charlie. Okay. <laughs> how are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Well, hello, sir. How are you, sir? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you, sir. Do you recognise me at all? Yeah. <laughs> so who am I? Well, you're Peter. Do you know who I am? No. <laughs> uh, Peter? Peter? You were in my shop, weren't you? I was, yes. Hello. Do you know who I am? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I'm actually uh, Don May, and I'm the CEO of Domino's. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> It's good, sir. <laughs> Everything is amazing. Are <laughs> oh, you kidding? Really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm the CEO of Domino's Pizza Enterprises. Am I being pumped? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not being pumped. You're a really, really incredible person. And I just want to share how honoured and proud I was to spend time with you. I really, really was proud. I think it's one of the... Um, it's sort of what you would always hope for as a CEO. I mean, you're just incredible. You really are, Louise. I mean, people like you that have made Domino's really successful. Uh, truly, yeah. truly. I love my job. And it shows, it really does show. There's a couple of things that happen on the visit I want to share that I feel Domino's let you down with, and it's not right. The first thing is that you should have air conditioning running in your store. You're like in the most northern store, and it should be working for you and your team members. Yeah. But we've mosey on with it. Well, I'm going to get it fixed for you. Thank you. The second thing is that the car that we have in this Vale yeah. is the oldest car in the system, you told me? Yes. So what I've also arranged is Peter Jones, the National Operations Manager, is going to be personally delivering you a new car in two days' time. Thank you. I can't believe we're getting a new car. <laughs> yes. With air conditioning. Which with was... air conditioning. Because of your hard work, and how special you are to our business. I want to do something unique for you. And so we've arranged for you to take a holiday to Hamilton Island for you and your family. Take a week off. Do not worry about the store. I promise you we'll look after your staff. And just relax. Sometimes I don't feel as though I do a good enough job or that I'm up to it some days. But I do know I am and I do feel it now. So yeah. One of the things that, that I came away really inspired about is actually your story. Plan, what's your long-term plan? Probably eventually leave here and right. um, go to uni in Melbourne. Okay. I'd like to get a Bachelor in Aviation. You shared that you'd love to learn how to fly. And it was almost like it was either that or Domino's. And I think you can do both. I think, um, and I want to prove that to you. So Al, we're going to give you $10,000 towards your flying lessons. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> and I hope through that, that we may even get to retain you longer in our business. Um, who knows where it might go. Ah, I, I'm just blown away. I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, you're doing a really amazing job and I wanted to acknowledge that. Al? Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I've always kind of had a work ethic that if I work hard one day, somebody will, will take notice of you, and kind of today is that day. We're really lucky to have people like yourself in thank our store. You. I can clearly see that you care about Domino's. Oh, yeah. To say thank you. I understand your motorbike's been damaged recently. Yeah. So, and that's your preferred way to get to work? Yeah. Definitely. So here's two thousand dollars. Oh no! To get your motorbike repaired. You're kidding me. I don't know how to. Thank you. <laughs> it's great. Thank you very much. Thank you. He was very like thankful when he told me a lot of good things about the store, about myself. I really feel great. In my eyes, you're like the epitome of the perfect up-and-coming franchisees. You know, you're our future. I mean, in Domino's, our whole history is built on people like yourselves that go on to be really successful. And I can tell from your attitude that you're going to be successful. And I just know you're going to be a great franchisee. And I really want to help you on that journey. I said, my commitment is for every dollar you save towards your deposit, I'm going to match that by a dollar. Or we're going to match it at Domino's. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, thank you. That's OK. We didn't expect any of this. This is like all my dreams come true. <laughs> Having Don match us dollar for dollar, it's going to change our lives. It's, it's going to change a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Next, you're a very special person. <laughs> Don has one last surprise for Raj. 
I did not expect too much. <laughs> You've come all the way to Australia yeah. to fulfill your boy's dreams. Yes. And I found that quite emotional for me. I thought, I mean, I'm a father. Yeah. And I think the sacrifices you're making yeah. to bring your boys to fulfill their dream, it's amazing. Yeah. And now you're a pizza delivery expert. Yeah. You're working another part-time job. Yeah. Your whole approach to our business really inspires me. Yeah. And so I want to do something special for you and your boys. I've arranged for you to have special box seats where you're going to go to Melbourne on Boxing Day to enjoy the cricket and watch Australia play England. <laughs> I did not expect too much. <laughs> this is too much. No, well, it's, for me, this is also a very big honour for me to be able to do this for you. The second thing is that I've been in the business 23 years yes. and in at least 20 years of that yep. I've been involved in product development, yep. so the future products, yep. and I'm being very genuine and honest with you in saying that the pizza that you've made yep. is really special. How's it this? Really good. Good? I think it's so special and I want to make sure that we actually bring it to customers. I think that it's... That's a good thing, sir. It is. <laughs> well, I've also... I have $1,500 for you. Oh my goodness. Because when somebody develops a pizza that we take to our customers, mm. then um, there's $1,500. Oh, thank you, sir. Thanks a lot, sir. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you sir. That's no problem. No, no, no. Thanks. You're a really, really nice man and a really good father. And you're, you're great for Domino's. You're perfect for Domino's. I mean, what you're doing, the way you're treating your customers, your attitude. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh my goodness, I can't spend my words that how I'm feeling now. <laughs> this is a good moment, <laughs> excellent moment, really amazing moment. <laughs> Don will now reveal to the rest of the company that he's been undercover. Hi everyone, I'm uh, Don May and I'm the CEO of Domino's Pizza Enterprises. And uh, over the last 14 days, I've actually been undercover in our business. Oh. <laughs> Hi, is Louise here at all? And I'm here to apply for a job. Do you like eating pizza, sir? I love pizza. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's your first day, it looks like you've been watching for ages. No. <laughs> I wanted to get a bit of a sense in the way that a new team member would see our business today. It was a once in a lifetime experience, very humbling, very emotional. It was a real big eye opener and I just endlessly felt so proud. We have just such incredible people in our stores and just over and over again I just met some really amazing team members, amazing managers and I've now made uh, six new friends that I'm going to stay in contact with. I know that there's lots of things that we can do to make it much better for our team members. But I just can't wait to work with you all in the business to make sure that we take these things further. And uh, thank you very much, everybody, for, uh, for coming along. Thank you. It's been an amazing experience that um, I know that we're not going to forget because it will have changed our lives. The opportunities that we'll get from this is going to be amazing and, yeah, definitely life-changing. Mr. Don have given us a very warm welcome. No? So, I'm really very glad. Well, so thank you. Louise, what can I say? Am I going to get another hug? Uh, every CEO should get back down to their earth level and put themselves in where we sit every day. Yeah, it's fantastic.
deliveries last night. So would you like to come for a drive? Lovely. Okay, let's go. All right. And we've got no air conditioning, why down your window? <laughs> We're going to kill ourselves in this car. We've parked our oldest car, one that should have actually been retired. It doesn't have air conditioning again. I mean, it's one of the things, you know, this is North Queensland, so not acceptable for our team members to be that way. So I want to make sure we're correcting that. Difference between a franchise and a corporate store, we're still owned by the company. The company being? The company being an American done. company, an Australian company? Australian and New Zealand company, right. which is um, Don Mayer being the CEO of Australia and New Zealand. Right. But so this someone, guy you talk about, is he the owner of it or something? Or he's the CEO. He's, right. um, right. you know, chief executive officer. Okay. But he started out the same as everybody else. Down at Leanne's now, which is number seven. Gosh, you know every house in this area. Almost. So I used to live out here too. Right. So, okay. So we'll just pop in and see Leanne and... Give her vouchers to her. Hi Leanne, are you home? Yeah. Hi. How are you today? Good, I'm Louise from Domino's in well, and I apologise for last night's delay on your pizza delivery. We have two wonderful vouchers and they're redeemable by that day. Okay, so whenever you see... Louise, she didn't feel great about having to give free pizzas because she didn't want to get it wrong in the first place. And here she was personally delivering a free pizza voucher to a couple of these customers. Okay, I'm terribly sorry about that. We have a free voucher for you. Okay, so anytime you're willing to come to Donald's again and we'll help you out and make sure that's not... Okay, thank you very much. No worries, have a good night. Thank you. See you later. She's amazing. She literally is just so passionate about our business. Look how this is This is where we used to live when the cyclone was here. I think every time the cyclone comes through, yeah, we cringe, duck and weave, but emotionally it kills us. Really? You know when we were driving past, you said that was my house? Yeah. And it was vacant. Yeah, the vacant block. What happened to your house? The house just, when the cyclone came, the house just literally just Nobody went down. No, no, we uh, evacuated. We went out to my parents where they were yeah. at the, they were at the Catholic church at that time. At yeah. And we stayed there and, yeah, we, it, um, yeah, it was pretty harsh. I bet it was. We moved in with my mum and dad and my mum and dad decided that they were going to go down to Sydney and um, they said you need somewhere to live so they gave us their caravan and so we moved into the caravan and lived there for two years because there was no housing, there was no nothing so we just coped that way and came to work and did the normal thing and went home to the caravan and lived like that until there was enough housing. We've got no air conditioning, why down your window? <laughs> we're going to kill ourselves in this car. We've parked our oldest car, one that should have actually been retired. It doesn't have air conditioning again. I mean, it's one of the things, you know, this is North Queensland, so not acceptable for our team members to be that way. So I want to make sure we're correcting that. Difference between a franchise and a corporate store, we're still owned by the company. The company being? The company being an American done. company, an Australian company? Australian and New Zealand company, right. which is... Um, Don Mayer being the CEO of Australia and New Zealand. Right. But so this someone, guy you talk about, is he the owner of it or something? Or he's the CEO. He's, right. um, right. you know, chief executive officer. Okay. But he started out the same as everybody else. Down at Leanne's now, which is number seven. Gosh, you know every house in this area. Almost. So I used to live out here too. Right. So, okay. So we'll just pop in and see Leanne and... Give her vouchers to her. Hi Leanne, are you home? Yeah. Hi. How are you today? Good, I'm Louise from Domino's in well, and I apologise for last night's delay on your pizza delivery. We have two wonderful vouchers and they're redeemable by that date. Okay, so whenever you see... Louise, she didn't feel great about having to give free pizzas because she didn't want to get it wrong in the first place. And here she was personally delivering a free pizza voucher to a couple of these customers. Okay, I'm terribly sorry about that. We have a free voucher for you. Okay, so anytime you're willing to come to Donald's again and we'll help you out and make sure that's not late. Okay, okay, thank you very much. No worries, have Thanks. a good night. Thank, thank you. you. See you later. Oh, she's amazing. She literally is just so passionate about our business. Oh this is where we used to live when the cyclone was here. Oh, yeah. I think every time the cyclone comes through, yeah, we cringe, duck and weave, but mm. emotionally it kills us. Really? 
know when we were driving past, you said that was my house. Yeah. And it was vacant. Yeah, the vacant block. What happened to your house? The house just, when the cyclone came, the house just literally just Nobody went down. No, no, we um, evacuated. We went out to my parents where they were, yeah. at, the, they were at the Catholic church at that time. At yeah. And we stayed there. And, yeah, we, it, um, yeah, it was pretty harsh. I bet it was. We moved in with my mum and dad, and my mum and dad decided that they were going to go down to Sydney, and um, they said, you need somewhere to live, so they gave us their caravan. And so we moved into the caravan and lived there for two years because there was no housing, there was no nothing. So we just coped that way and came to work and did the normal thing and went home to the caravan and lived like that until there was enough housing. Here she's lost her home in the cyclone. I'll manage it, and I don't know, I can buy a store. Okay, buy a store? Yeah, I'll be a regional manager. So how long are you going to stay here then? What, are you, what would you recommend? Forever? Yeah, it's just been fun. Yeah? And yeah. Arthur, he's a, a fantastic young man. <laughs> And you can see that he's a, my limited exposure to him, he's a really nice person. When you said Domino's fun, what makes it fun? Oh, the make line. You like it here? <laughs> is your best, your favourite bit? Yeah, it is. Yeah. What's next? Okay, right. we can make it the path base, we do that tomato as well. Okay, so you... Day you, one. Yeah, feeling a little bit frustrated because um, we've just launched a new product called Square Puff and they're teaching me how to make it incorrectly and it's really badly incorrectly, so the end product's not going to be right. So which one am I making up there? So you have to make the seven slot pizza. Like that? Yeah, good, yeah, that's good. It's not even close to how it's supposed to be made. Bacon. Which bacon? Can you use this one? There's a lot of bacon. So it's frustrating to be making a product you know that's going to not work out the way it's supposed to work out. But I'm trying to grin and bear it because I know I don't want to blow my cover because what else am I going to see here and lean? What do you think of this one at the front? I've never seen a, a pizza store with a make line at the front. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. I, I don't know. For me, it looks a bit messy. Do you reckon? I don't know. That's what I'm. It's, I'm just it's, a customer. I'm looking at it going. Yeah. Just don't have, have a problem be... wasting all the food. Well, just because you're new, so you probably. Okay, so I made all the yeah. mess. No, no, you. <laughs> One of the, the things about having the make line on show, it just really shows weaknesses if we're not cleaning that make area. And um, I felt pretty bad about the amount of waste that we were doing as well tonight. Uh, more, more because it is waste. I mean, that should be product we're giving to the customer. Um, you know, really nothing should really be going into the bins because nobody's getting anything out of that. There's one thing I didn't expect to learn, but maybe I should have, is that clearly this store needs more training. I look up to this, Peter. Fantastic people here. Thank you very much. Appreciate your help. Okay. But we need to work on more training. That's really our responsibility. That's you know my responsibility today. Make sure the training's following all the way through. That's a big take home for me to make sure we get that fixed. After a difficult shift in the Spring Hill store, Don decides to visit a more traditional one where he's heard about two young store managers hoping to buy their own franchise. I'm here in Gongalan today. This is a really successful store for us. It continues to grow despite new competitors opening up in the area and so on. So I'm really interested in meeting the people in the store. Well, I'm here to see t -out flyers. This is definitely character building stuff. Oh yeah. Lucky I'm not from Canberra. <laughs> oh, maybe if we come back here a bit we can get people going. Okay, so what do I do, just hand these out? Yep. So can I give you one of these menus at all? No, you're fine. <laughs> it's nice to be outside the store. Yeah. <laughs> Out in the sun. Yay! <laughs> he knows what Domino's is, don't you, mate? I don't know who came up with it, but there are Dominoids who are like that's what they're called. They're obsessed with Domino's. Yeah. But it is. It's well, you're probably it one of those. <laughs> yeah. I know, I guess on the front everyone will tell you, you know, they, they love it and it's good and that. But of course, you know, every job's got its down points and that. And um, I know, yeah, personally myself, like I've really struggled with the customer side of things and the constant responsibility. Yeah. And um, I've only just recently been, six months ago, been diagnosed with depression. So, um, and that's been really hard to juggle 
I'm the last point of call, you know. I'm the one that's got to be there when everything else falls apart. So you don't necessarily have time to fall apart for yourself and have those downtime, down moments. So that makes it hard, but... Um, we have Charlie. That's right. That's, I'm very grateful that I have him, so... Mm. Yeah. I'm, I'm very tough on myself. I, um, I ask a lot of myself and because I, I don't want to disappoint. But you know, one of the things I did learn is that um, it's okay that if you're not perfect at everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it is okay. So Tegan's a perfectionist, a very focused person, and she's just a really, really amazing person. So we're very lucky to have people like Tegan and Charlie in our business. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, how are you? Next, Northern Exposure. Don feels the heat in Innisfail. It's hot in this store. It is very hot. Do you hot. have air conditioning? We do normally. Undercover CEO Don May is heading to one of Domino's most northerly stores in steamy Innisfail. The town devastated by Cyclone Larry in 2006. Don wants to see how a small town store survives. <laughs> Hi, Peter James. How are you? And I'm here to apply for a job yep. and... No worries, you're my new in store. It. Wonderful, come on through. Thank you. Place That's work. wonderful placement. Okay, you look great. You look ready for work. Thank you. Okay. It's hot in this store. It is very hot. Do you hot. have air conditioning? We do normally. Um, the problem is that at the moment our air conditioner busted down because as you would understand up here things work over time. <laughs> so, so we'll what's... pick it up. Remember it's very hot. Yep. Okay, put it to a certain start. Up and coming franchisees, you know, you're our future. I mean in Domino's our whole history is built on people like yourselves that go on to be really successful. And I can tell from your attitude that you're going to be successful and I just know you're going to be a great franchisee. And I really want to help you on that journey. I said, my commitment is for every dollar you save towards your deposit, I'm going to match that by a dollar. Or we're going to match it at Domino's. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, right. thank you. That's okay. We didn't expect any of this. This is like all my dreams come true. <laughs> Having Don match us dollar for dollar, it's going to change our lives. It's, it's going to change a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Next. You're a very special person. <laughs> Don has one last surprise for Raj. I did not expect too much. <laughs> You've come all the way to Australia yeah. to fulfil your boy's dreams. Yes. And I found that quite emotional for me. I thought, I mean, I'm a father. Yeah. And I think the sacrifices you're making yeah. to bring your boys to fulfill their dream, it's amazing. Yeah. And now you're a pizza delivery expert. Yeah. You're working another part-time job. Yeah. Your whole approach to our business really inspires me. Yeah. And so I want to do something special for you and your boys. I've arranged for you to have special box seats where you're going to go to Melbourne on Boxing Day to enjoy the cricket and watch Australia play England. <laughs> I did not expect too much. <laughs> this is too much. No, well, it's, for me, this is also a very big honour for me to be able to do this for you. The, the second thing is that I've been in business 23 years, yes. and in at least 20 years of that, yep. I've been involved in product development, yep. so the future products, yep. and I'm being very genuine and honest with you in saying that the pizza that you've made yep. is really special. How's it just Really good. Good. I think it's so special, and I want to make sure that we actually bring it to customers. I think that it's... That's a good thing, sir. It is. <laughs> well, I've also... I have $1,500 for you. Oh, my goodness. Because when somebody develops a pizza that we take to our customers, mm. Then um, there's fifteen hundred dollars. Oh, thank you, sir. Thanks a lot, sir. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you sir. That's no problem. No, no, no. Thanks. You're a really, really nice man and a really good father, and you're you're great for Domino's. You're perfect for Domino's. I mean, what you're doing, the way you're treating your customers, your attitude. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 
Yeah, across in the middle. Yeah, right. you, you, you're doing you're, you're brilliant, mate. Nervous. No, you're doing you brilliant. You're shaking the pizza? Yeah, shuffle the pizza. You're really going to enjoy this job. Now for a task, I really need to get these vouchers out to the customers. Okay. Okay, we had a few late deliveries last night, so would you like to come for a drive? Lovely. Okay, let's go. All right. We've got no air conditioning, wind down your window. We're going to kill ourselves in this car. We've parked our oldest car, one that should have actually been retired. It doesn't have air conditioning again. I mean, it's one of the things, you know, this is North Queensland, so not acceptable for our team members to be that way. So I want to make sure we're correcting that. Between a franchise and a corporate store, we're still owned by the company. The company being the company being an American done. company or Australian company? Australian and New Zealand company, right. which is um, Don Mayer being the CEO of Australian New Zealand. Right. But so this someone, guy you talk about, is he the owner of it or something? Or he's the he... CEO. He's right. Um, right. you know chief executive officer. Okay. But he started out the same as everybody else. Down at McAnns now, which is number seven. You know, every house in this area. Almost. I used to live out here too. Oh, yeah. So, okay. So we'll just pop in and see Leanne and give her vouchers to her. Hi, Leanne. Are you home? Yeah. Hi. How are you today? Good, I'm Louise from Domino's in well, and I apologise for last night's delay on your pizza delivery. We have two wonderful vouchers, and they're redeemable by that date. Okay, so whenever you see Louise, it. she didn't feel great about having to give free pizzas because she didn't want to get it wrong in the first place. And here she was personally delivering a free pizza voucher to a couple of these customers. Okay, I'm terribly sorry about that. We have a free voucher for you. Okay, so anytime you're willing to come to Donna's again and we'll help you out and make sure that it's not late. Okay, okay, thank you very much. No worries, have Thanks. a good night. Thank, thank, thank you. you. See you later. She's amazing. She literally is just so passionate about our business. Oh this is where we used to live when the cyclone was here. Oh, and yeah. I think every time the cyclone comes through, yeah, we cringe, duck and weave, but mm. emotionally it kills us. Really? You know when we were driving past, you said that was my house? Yeah. And it was vacant? Yeah, the vacant block. What happened to your house? The house just, when the cyclone came, the house just literally just Nobody went down. It. No, one was no we uh, evacuated. We went out to my parents where they were, yeah. at, the, they were at the Catholic Church at that time. At yeah. And we stayed there. And yeah, we, it, um, yeah, it was pretty harsh. I bet it was. We moved in with my mum and dad, and my mum and dad decided that they were going to go down to Sydney and. Just don't have a problem be. wasting all our food. Don May, CEO of the multi-million dollar Domino's, is back home in Brisbane to go undercover in a store close to Domino's HQ and close to his heart. We're in Spring Hill, we've, we've just upgraded it, and this is also one of the first stores to get our pizza make line where we make our pizzas up to the front of the store. So we're now you're gonna learn how to make pizza. Perfect. So first we have to sauce. Okay. Let's put a sauce on the base. And um, has to be 100, between 190 grams of cheese. Let's go put in some salami. We need some salami there. Okay. Just put in about eight slices. It's your first day, it looks like you've been working for ages. Nah. <laughs> how much? That's it. Yeah, nice pizza. You happy with that? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, what, what do you like about Domino's? That's what I'm sort of looking at. What I like at Domino's, mm. I like because it's fun. Mm -hmm. When you come to here, there's all his friends around. You can be a um, store manager, and I don't know, I can buy a store. Okay, buy a store? Yeah, or be a regional manager. So how long are you going to stay here then? What, do you, what would you recommend? Forever? Yeah, it's just been fun. Yeah? And yeah. Arthur, he's a, a fantastic young man. <laughs> And you can see that he's a, my limited exposure to him, he's a really nice person. When you said Domino's fun, what makes it fun? 
Oh, the make line. You like it here? <laughs> this is your best, your favorite bit? Yeah, it is. Yeah. What's next? Okay, right. we can make it the path base with that tomato as well. Okay, so you, you, you're one. Yeah, feeling a little bit frustrated because um, we've just launched a new product called Square Puff, and they're teaching me how to make it incorrectly, and it's really badly incorrectly. So the end product's not going to be right. So which one am I making up there? So you have to make the seven slot pizza. Like that? Yeah, good. Yeah, that's good. It's not even close to how it's supposed to be made. Bacon. Which bacon? Can use this one. Gosh, a lot of bacon. So it's frustrating to be making a product you know that's going to not work out the way it's supposed to work out. But I'm trying to grin and bear it because I know I don't want to blow my cover because what else am I going to see here and then? Kind of people that enter our business. Sometimes maybe as a last resort, but then realise, wow, I'm learning stuff here, I'm having fun, I'm being treated with respect. Yeah, there's obviously a sense of pride that that's a place that Domino's fulfills, you know, and that, um, and that we uncover these people. After a late night finish in the kitchen, Don returns undercover the next morning. He'll try out as a delivery driver, the very job that started him on his stellar pizza career. This is the hot brownie. Have yeah. you shown it? Hi. Hello, sir. How are you, sir? Peter. Myself, Rod, sir. Nice to, so meet nice, you. To, nice to meet you, sir. Please, thank you. So how long have you worked here? I'm working from the last year, sir. The last year? Yeah, from wow. India, yeah. from Punjab. From India? My background is mechanical engineer and uh, I'm working here as a uh, delivery expert from the last year. And do you have a family? Yes, I'm, my family is here. Yeah? You bring yeah. your whole family? Yes, yes. I have two kids. Oh, and, I too. Uh, yeah, two kids. Their one is of 21 years and nearly, or and another one is 16 years. Raj is a, a quite an interesting man. Um, he's a gentleman who migrated here about a year ago, and um, he uh, he's come from a completely different background where he was a manager, quite a senior gentleman, as a mechanical engineer, but he wasn't able to necessarily find a job. And he's now a pizza delivery driver, pizza as he calls it, a delivery expert, and he's learning all the different roles in the store. Slowly. I was not driven manual before? Yeah, I not driven this car. No. And so how many hours a week would you do at Domino's? Yeah, nearly 60 hours. 60 hours? <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Should be here, number four, this one. Number one. four. Uh, this is number four, yep, yeah, upstairs. Just look around. Yeah. Now this is, yeah, this one is there. Hi, Andrew, how are you? Hi, how are you, sir? I'm, I'm Raj from Domino's. Hi, I'm Peter, I'm a trainee. Oh, hi, Peter. <laughs> and what's your long-term plan? What would you like to do? Uh, just my planning is that uh, I have to... I came here for only for my children, so they like to come in Australia for further studies. I think it is a really big sacrifice for somebody to give up their uh, life and career and friends and family to move to another country for a future for their children. You see a change in your children? Yeah, the younger one is purely Aussie. He's is that real Aussie? Yeah, really Aussie. But the pure test is which yeah. team does he go for? Yeah, yeah. Is he supporting Australia or India? No, no, nowadays he is supporting Australia. Oh, wow, he is definitely an Australian. <laughs> yeah. He's really proud that his youngest son, after one year, supports the Australian cricket team, speaks like an Australian, and he sees that as a, as a really big positive. Pride that that's a place that Domino's fulfills, you know, and that, um, and that we uncover these people. After a late night finish in the kitchen, Don returns undercover the next morning. He'll try out as a delivery driver, the very job that started him on his stellar pizza career. This is the hot brownie. Have yeah. you shown it? Hi. Hello, sir. How are you, sir? Peter. Myself, Raj, sir. Nice so to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. Please, thank you. So how long have you worked here? I'm working right. from the last year, sir. The last year? Yeah, from wow. India, yeah. from Punjab. From India? My background is mechanical engineer and uh, I'm working here as a uh, delivery expert from the last year. 
And do you have a family? Yes, I'm, my family is here. Yeah, you bring yeah. your whole family? Yes, yes. I have two kids. Oh, and, I too. Yeah, two kids. Their one is of 21 years and nearly, or and another one is 16 years. Raj is a, a quite an interesting man. Um, he's a gentleman who migrated here about a year ago, and um, he uh, he's come from a completely different background where he was a manager, quite a senior gentleman, as a mechanical engineer, but he wasn't able to necessarily find a job. And he's now a pizza delivery driver, pizza as he calls it, a delivery expert, and he's learning all the different roles in the store. Slowly, slowly. I was not driven this manual yeah, before? I'm not driven this car. No. And so how many hours a week would you do at Domino's? Yeah, nearly 60 hours. 60 hours? <laughs> Incredible. Should be here, number four, this one. Number one. four. Uh, this is number four, yep, yeah, upstairs. Just look around. Yeah. Now this is, yeah, this one is there. Hi, Andrew, how are you? Hi, how are you, sir? Um, I'm Raj from Domino's. Hi, I'm Peter, I'm a trainee. Hi, oh, Peter. Okay. <laughs> and what's your long-term plan? What would you like to do? Uh, just my planning is that uh, I have to I came here for only for my children, so they like to come in Australia for further studies. I think it is a really big sacrifice for somebody to give up their uh, life and career and friends and family to move to another country for a future for their children. You see a change in your children? Yeah, the younger one is purely Aussie. Is that real Aussie? Yeah, really Aussie. But the pure test is which yeah. team does he go for? Yeah, yeah. Is he, is he supporting Australia or India? No, no, nowadays he is supporting Australia. Oh, wow, he is definitely an Australian. <laughs> yeah. Player. He's really proud that his youngest son, after one year, supports the Australian cricket team, speaks like an Australian, and he sees that as a, as a really big positive. Hi. Hi. This is Raj from Domino's. This is your delivery, please. Yeah, of course, 27.95. Thank you. Great people there. I mean, these are really, really good people. We've got to do a better job of training their team members, and can we? That's a big question. One of the things that I learned by being undercover is that by doing an individual task over and over for long enough periods of time, you actually see it in a different light. And so I'm going to lead by example, where I'm going to commit to the business that I'm going to work once a month in the store not to be the manager, but to actually be a team member. And I want to challenge all of our operations team to do that. Alrighty, well, thank you very much, everybody. And we'll talk soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The time has come for his unsuspecting co-workers to discover Don's true identity. Don't really know what's going on, where we're going, what we're doing. Ian, hi Charlie. Good day. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Well, hello, sir. How are you, sir? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you, sir. Do you recognise me at all? Yeah. <laughs> so who am I? Well, you're Peter. Do you know who I am? No. <laughs> I'm Peter. Peter? You were in my shop, weren't you? I was, yes. Do you know who I am? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I'm actually uh, Don May, and I'm the CEO of Domino's. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> oh, it's good, sir. <laughs> Everything is amazing. <laughs> Are you kidding? Really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm the CEO of Domino's Pizza Enterprises. Am I being pumped? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not being pumped. You're a really, really incredible person. And I just want to share how honoured and proud I was to spend time with you. I really, really was proud. I think it's one of the... Um, it's sort of what you would always hope for as a CEO. I mean, you're just incredible. You really are, Louise. I mean, people like you that have made Domino's really successful. Uh, truly, yeah. truly. I love my job. And it shows. It really does show. There's a couple of things that happen on the visit I want to share that I feel Domino's lets you down with, and it's not right. The first thing is that you should have air conditioning running in your store. You're like in the most northern store, and it should be working for you and your team members. Yeah. 
But we've nosed the arm, is that? Well, I'm going to get it fixed for you. Thank you. The second thing is that the car that we have in this veil yeah. is the oldest car in the system, you told me? Yes. So what I've also arranged is Peter Jones, the National Operations Manager, is going to be personally delivering you a new car in two days' time. Thank you. I can't believe we're getting a new car.